exercise 4e, which one we'll have a look at now, is dividing algebraic terms. We've looked at addition and subtraction of like terms, and in 4d we looked at how we could multiply algebraic terms. Now we want to look at how we can divide algebraic terms. They are written, division of terms in algebra is written like a fraction. So it would be written like this. It would help if I have my pen. A over B, or A divided by B. Now this line here means divided by, and it's also called a vinculum. which is a Latin term, vinculum meaning division. So in algebra, that's how we write division. So it would be fairly, and the simple rules of fractions apply to algebra. Oops. So if we had a fraction like this, 15, over 45, we would cancel that down or simplify it down to its lowest term by finding the highest term that goes into both the numerator, which in this case is 15, and the denominator, which the bottom, which in this case is 45. We know that 15 will go into itself once and it will go into 45 three times. So in its simplest form, that is 1 over 3. So we've reduced it down. And we know that that's an equivalent fraction because if I multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 15, I will end up with 15 over 45. So it's the same size fraction. It's equal in size and value, but it's written with, in its simplest form. We do the same thing with algebra. So if we had something like this, we had something like 9AB over 27AC, we look for the highest common factors in both 9AB and 27AC. Straight off the coefficients go, 9 goes into itself once, and it goes into 27 three times. A will go into itself once, and A will go into itself once. So on the top, we are left with B. And on the bottom, we are left with 3C. So what we've got here is, if I multiply, it's again an equivalent fraction. If I multiply both top and bottom by 9a, which is what I divided by, I will end up with an equivalent fraction, or with the original fraction. So that b over 3c is an equivalent fraction to 9ab over 27ac. What I've done there is just follow the simple simplifying rules for reducing a fraction down, in this, in this instance an algebraic term, down to its lowest or simplest form. Whatever goes into the top must go into the bottom and the highest common factor that, that goes into both. So when I did it here, for this one here, I did exactly the same process for this one here. Found the highest common factor, divided it out. So all the number rules apply, and the rules of powers apply too. Remember, we said that the second index law, when you divide powers, you actually subtract. You keep the base and subtract the powers. Keep the base and subtract the powers, because it's the inverse of multiplying that we did in 4D.
So an example of that would be 3a to the seventh over 6a to the fifth. Obviously the 3 will go into itself once and it'll go into 6 twice. So what we do is a will go into a obviously, so that becomes a 7 minus 5. So what I'm left with is 2, a to the power of 2, or a squared. So I've got 1 over 2, or half a squared. So that's the second index law, where we are dividing powers, we keep the base that's of course the same base, if it's the same base, otherwise we just cancel out with highest common factors. When we divide powers, we are looking at keeping the base and subtracting the powers. So let's go on and have a look at question one. In question one, we're asked to do the long-handed way or the way of looking at exactly how it's done. So in part one, you're asked to expand. So to expand would equal 5 times a. We know that. That's 5 times a. And that would be over a. In part 2, you're asked to look for any common factors. So the common factors here would be a and a. So the answer would be 5. Pretty straightforward. Expand it out, part one. Look for any common factors, part two. And simplify in part three. Now let's have a look at another one. Let's have a look at part I. And it's CD over 3C. CD over 3c. To expand that out, that equals c times d and over 3 times c. So we've got common factors. We've got common factors, which is part 2. c is a common factor, so we're left with d over 3. d over 3. Fairly straightforward. The others, 15AB, let's do the last one, 15AB, that's KL L and that's 15AB over 12A. 15AB over 12a. There we have, we're asked to put it in expanded form. Now expanded form, we have 15 times a times b. 15 times a times b. And that is over 12 times a. Again, we look for any common factors. In this instance, A and A are common factors. So it goes out. And we can see that 3 will go into 12 four times. And it will go into 15 five times. So then our answer will be 5B. Over 4. I've found, I've written it in expanded form, I've found any common factors and I've cancelled those out and then I've simplified it down to its lowest form. In question two, we're asked to simplify. Again, you see that term quite often. It means to reduce down to the lowest term. First thing I need to do is to write this in algebraic terms. It's x, y over y. Then xy over y, the y's go out. So that equals x. 
looking at another one, part K. Part K says 7EF divided by G. 7EF divided by G. Step one, I'm going to write it in the right format. So it's 7EF divided by or over G. There are no factors there that will go into it. If I've written it out correctly, which I have, it could be EF divided by G. There are no common factors. So that is already in its simplest form. That's question two.